Hi, everybody. Being a YouTuber, uh, at least in my opinion, um, it takes a lot of hard work, a long time, and I, who knows? Magic, luck, God's will, I couldn't even really tell you. I'm still a Christian, but sometimes when people tell you, like, you know, like, you know, it's going to take quality. It's going to take you to learn video editing. It's going to take you to have compelling topics to speak about. It's going to take you to have good pacing, good narrative, uh, a very visually colorful um, YouTube thing. And all that stuff takes time. Um, and frankly, I, I, I tell you, like, I could even tell you how people's channels blow up because sometimes the algorithm blesses. I, <laughs> it's funny I say that, but it does seem like that, like <laughs> something quite beyond us picks up, picks a video and then it blows up and then they get a million. They, they get a ton of subscribers from it. And it's like the most random thing. And maybe that's curated based off our, our viewership and stuff like that. But it's just like one day I'll, I, I will make a, a quality video. And I do mean a decently quality video. Uh, do I, I? I couldn't even tell you about the other aspects. Is it discriminatory? I have no idea. Um, frankly, I don't know if it. I don't think it matters to me. Um, because some people rely on YouTube for their for their livelihood, and you know, you do one thing, and you know, it gets snatched away from you. The populace from some social media platforms like takes your stuff because. You said something today, tomorrow, yesterday, some years in that from now, whatever. And it's like, um, you know, how you got how you got the spot is a mystery. And how they got taken away is equally a mystery. And you can give you a response videos and whatever. And people say, oh, I could be. And I'm trying to put quote marks, but it's like, you need to mean it. And it's like, well, you couldn't really tell if a person meant it or not, you know. All you can tell is them freaking out and trying to stabilize their viewership so that they can keep whatever funding. And then people want to say, hey, you need to mean it, you know, and it's like. Meaning it or not, that it's not real. I don't think it's personally about you owning up to it. It's just that you have to you have to propose your apology in a way that that sounds truthful and meaningful. And it's like. No, who knows how to ask like, you know. You, you know, you can say, I'm really sorry and you deserve to be mad and yada, yada, yada. And maybe that's how you feel. But like people may be like, you're just saying the right thing so that we can be by your side. And that's part of the problem with this super skeptical postmodern era is like we're too skeptical. We question everything, including our own understanding of an apology. And to the point where it sounds like an, a non-apology and it's just like whatever man i don't i don't know you know sometimes you got to just speak the language that they want you to speak so you can keep it moving and sometimes some people just say some off the wall stuff to just say hey man i looked at it and i'm sorry or like man i looked at what i said and that's gross you know and maybe that's not you as i say air quotes that people can't see but i'm like you know maybe what you said whether you said this one offensive thing or that other offensive thing, you can't say I'm growing, I'm trying to move past that, or I'm sorry, or whatever. And it's just like, you have to kind of mean it by your, by your progression of videos. And I'm pretty sure people have said that, man. And it's just like, wow. Um, in this day and age, you can never really tell as a YouTube personality, influencer, whatever you want to call yourself, how people should take your content. And regardless, if you want to sit here and say, oh, I'm satirical and say that could be a reason for you to say whatever you want. But back in the day, and this reminds me of Xbox, of Xbox Live, when so-called free speech was used to just promote ignorant behavior and honestly racist behavior it was distinctly racist but it was so cultural that it was just like young kids would drop in bombs and it just it was just a thing and now we have memes that's so edgy that's like all oh, this whole roast franklin meme and people it just gives them a reason to say the n-word it's just it's so strange our culture is so entitled to say whatever they want and Freedom of speech 
matters to a point because it's like it's one thing if you can you have protection so that the government don't lock you up. But it's another thing if you just say hurtful things just because you can. And that's that's kind of problematic to me. And I know that's a key word problematic, but it's like, you know, it's just kind of like. Do people do some of these people really consider what they say when they say um, very critical words and, and, you know, just very just terms like that? So yeah, think about what y'all say sometimes. And um, I just be like wondering it. So I don't know, man. YouTube it's it's just it's it's almost a walk at nightmare. And then. You see YouTube itself tries to kind of be critical on YouTubers, but not really on his own content, which it lets his own content slide back. But again, uh, people say you're not fair, YouTube. But at the same time, just like any entity, it can play by its own rules and judge you for them because you're under it and it's above it. And it's like. It can be hypocritical if it wants. That's the one that's being a mediator. And if you don't like it, then you can leave, you know. And I'm not saying I like it. I'm just saying that that can be the, the perspective of unfair leaders, unfair platforms, unfair uh, things that have certain tenets and dogmas and, and terms and agreements and whatever you want to call them. Certain rules. I mean, if it's the person that makes up the rules, it doesn't, it makes sense that they think whatever it, the leading entity can do can make up his own rules. It's like, you know, if they say don't hit back, but it hits back, I might, like, it just made up the rules, you know? And hopefully, your hope is that because it changed its own rules, that it has a very good reason for it. But uh, and hopefully it does. Hopefully it can come. It can make those exceptions because it's a lot more smarter than you are. But who knows? You know, the era, the nature of the machine sometimes just seeks to sustain it, sustain itself. And while it penalizes other people. It's maybe it doesn't want competition. Maybe it's just trying to. Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, you know, why it might engage in certain hypocritical seeming activities but it's the nature of entities in the machine the mechanical nature of, of entities um it's just how to survive um